and today I'll be showing you how to change the content of your sourcing emails. So the Ariba solution allows you to update the content and structure of uh, the sourcing emails sent out uh, from the Ariba system and this can be done via the event manager email templates. So you do require Ariba system administrator rights to be able to access this part of the system. Um, so, so what it will allow you to do is you can actually change the, the whole structure and content of the different emails the system generates. Uh, it will also allow you to add tokenized content into the email. So what that means is you can actually add dynamic fields um, that the system can pick up from the sourcing project to add on to, to the email itself. And the value here that it allows each customer to tailor the sourcing emails as per their, their requirements or as per their compliance policy. So let's have a look at how it's done in the system. So first off, you do require a, a Reba system administrator rights. So once you have that access, um, we'll go into the manage part of the system and click on the administration section. Once in the administration uh, section of the system, go to event manager and then select the messaging templates. So from here, you should be able to see a list of all the emails that the Ariba system generates um, and you should be able to edit uh, every one of them. So for example, let's take the first one here, uh, which is the email that the system generates when uh, you've awarded uh, a participant in that sourcing event. So you can click on that and we will go ahead and edit. So if you recall, I remembered you can add um, a token fields into the actual email itself. So what that does is it allows us to select um, fields from the sourcing project itself and include it into the, to the sourcing emails. So if, if you click on the add email template token at the bottom there, um, it should allow you to select, um, again, fields from the sourcing project or you can add um, specific fields um, part of the email as well. So for example, you can see here we can add um, the event creation date, start date, you can actually add um, the recipient, the sender name, the sender organization name, um, and a fair amount of other fields as well. So for example, let's go ahead and add the recipient name there. So you'll see here that it's added um, the field into the system. So you can just go ahead and pretty much um, change the content of the email. So we can just say, hi, recipient name, you have been awarded. We'll go ahead and we'll save that and then the next email the system generates should use that new format. So now you've seen how we can update um, the different sourcing emails um, via the template manager and you can pretty much change all the different uh, emails the system generates. Uh, and that's all I had today. Thanks everyone.